This channel's content is intended for people over the age of 13. If you are under that age, please leave now. Thank you. Hello, welcome. Welcome to the Resident Evil 2 Remake Collector's Edition Unboxing. This was a very expensive boxing, but it is a very nice box. The stuff within is quite high quality. Mm -hmm. And we're going to rip into it in just two seconds. But uh, before that happens, I am going to speed through the box opening process because, uh, yeah, it took way fucking too long. Uh, that's my fault. I wasn't prepared for them in a tape that was on that, um, and then getting it out of the sleeve. What a pain in the arse, but here we are. And let's dive in! And what have we got? There's not that much in this box set, but what you do get is good quality, and I'd rather have uh, quality over quantity every time. This written authorization required to read the file. This is basically the art book, which is done in, this, in the Looks like some sort of case file for a crime, but, uh, or looks like a scrapbook when you look at it. But, uh, either way, it's, I was quite impressed. It's quite nice. And it's not your typical hardback, so I probably saved a buck or two putting it in a paperback. Um, it's not your usual size of uh, art book either, they're usually small hardbacks, like I said. Um, this is quite nice. Raccoon Magazine. Night Super Super? Night Super Show, if I could speak, that would be great. A typewriter and the floor of the PlayStation. Negatives of a picture! Yeah, that's good. I really like it. Next on the agenda is a funny wee brown box. And I'm going to speed through this as well because I struggled to open the fucking thing. And then it was a mess inside. But what you've got, replica keys that you use in the game. And they're very, very nice. We're just all over the place, higgledy piggledy for some bizarre reason. But uh, yeah, you get the club, diamond, heart, and spade key. Um, that goes from right to left, I think. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it's good. It's nice. I don't know what I'm going to do with them though. This is something I don't really care for pins, but um, yeah, it's what it is. I'm pretty sure the, the picture is on Claire's leather jacket. But uh, I can't remember exactly. I think that's the case. Yeah, it's not bad. But don't care for pins. I don't really use them. Got nothing that I want to do with them. Cool. I just thought that'll go to the bottom of a drawer somewhere and disappear. So it's okay. It's not bad, but it's not great either. Next is the game. Um, yes, it's a steel book. The famous steel book. And, oh, thank god it's got the name on the side of it. Sometimes they print the name on the actual plastic sleeve that that's in. But no, it's actually printed on the, um, on the actual box itself, which is great. I don't, I like steelbooks. It's just, don't have the name in the spine. Why even bother? It's a waste. Next is the CD soundtrack. And it's nice that they're giving us a soundtrack with the disc, it's a physical thing. I don't like these digital only soundtracks. I can't really do much with them. You can download them onto your PlayStation or your Xbox and they can just get, you know, gather the digital dust because you're not going to use them much because I end up forgetting about them. Same, I had the same thing with The um, Last of Us. And then we're going to power through and look at the, uh, the actual, the main event of the collect any collector's edition, other than the game, of course. Well, the main event for TAT, I'll be a bit more precise in what I'm saying here, is the statue. It's a Leon Kennedy statue. And as much as I love it, I kind of wish, for the price as well, that it um, had a clear with it as well. That's a gun. Now, the gun and the torch, or flashlight, I think are actually kind of shit looking. They're really, really low quality looking good pieces of plastic. That was just a silver bit of plastic for the gun. There was no weathering on it. It, it just kind of looked, looked like something you get with an action man. Same with that torch. Or flashlight. Oh, he's a big boy. Get him out of that plastic! 
Quickly, hurry up! Right. <laughs> I don't know why I had plastic over his hand, that was weird. Because the hand's not that, it's not that fucking um, brittle or damaging, but look at the quality. The quality in this statue is quite impressive. It's actually, it looks like he's wearing a fabric shirt. It's n n the, the, the radio's not like printed on in any way, it's all 3D, it's all texturized, it's lovely. Um, so I was actually really happy with this statue. I thought um take a slightly longer look at it as well, so we'll just we'll just take it all in and marvel how great that is. And how great the game is too. You need a torch and then you put the gun. And the the, the, the base I didn't put the gun in, I don't know why. The base is this is a big big thing that I've got with these a lot of these modern collector's editions, the bases are huge, needlessly. Size of that thing. There's no way it needs to be that big. Why does it need to be like two inches thick? And it's hollow. It's hollow in the middle. So why not just make a, a, a solid plastic base? It's a bit smaller. Goes around the outside of his feet, and you can actually put it in a shelf a lot tidier. Because that tend to find that you need huge shelves for these things. So yeah, not um, not happy with the base because it's massive. But it's common now for the bases to come. Just fucking huge. There he is. Standing holding his gun, ready to shoot a zombie nine times in the head before it'll die. Weird. But uh, balancing and all that into Couldn't you have the zombies one hit shed shot shot shots to death because uh bit too easy then. And this is the final piece of the puzzle. Which is the uh, raccoon police department. It's a poster on one side and a map on the other. It's actually quite nice. Um yeah, it's, uh, I'm not, I'm not going to be putting it up on a wall or anything. It's just folded back up and put back in the box. So, yeah. What does it say? I, th I can't read it. For some, I'm really horrible at reading handwriting. We pray that this something PlayStation, new PlayStation. Ah, it's good. Get your hand out of the way, you fool. Raccoon 1 F station. Ah, whatever. I'm just rambling pish now. But ah, that's part of my personality, isn't it? No! And that's the DLC, and the DLC is... Costumes. I'll see you all next time.